since our last video, I've updated our address book application to include addresses in our person details screen here, as you can see. And I have this list view here that will list out the different addresses that we will create for our different contacts. And we'll see it's pretty standard fare. And we'll see that when I click the save button, we throw this not implemented exception because we have our view bound to our add edit address view model. So what did I do? Well, one of the things I did is I created a new model that extends off realm object called address. And we'll see that I've specified this ID here as our object ID, which will act as kind of like a primary key of sorts. And then we've added your traditional address properties. And now I'm going to add a collection of these addresses to our previously created person model. You'll see here I'm not using a standard list, but instead I'm using a realm list. And this will allow us to add and remove items from our addresses collection and have our realm database be updated in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all these. Next thing we need to do is go into IDB service and update our save address method. And as you can see here, we're going to add our parameters where we'll want obviously a person ID as well as our street, suite, apartment, city, state, etc. And now we're going to also go into our add edit address view model and we are going to pass this DB service to our view model so we can save any addresses that we edit with this view model. And I'm going to go ahead and create a local reference to DB service. The next thing we want to do is update our do save method to not throw an exception because we don't want our app to crash. So next we're going to create an initialization function or an init method where we're going to pass it the person ID. And we'll use this person ID later in our do save method. And next I'm going to update our do save method to pass in the person ID, street, etc. And then we'll see we get this compiler error because we forgot to pass in our DB service to use in our view model locator. And then our last compile error is that we haven't implemented the IDB service method for saving an address. So let's go ahead and do that. In our address page, we need to update the constructor of our address page to take a person ID. And what this will do is it'll allow us to pass this to our view model. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a local field for our person ID. And then I'm gonna override the unbinding context changed method. And whenever the view model that is assigned to this page changes, we want to go ahead and call the initialization function of our view model and pass it the person ID. And now when we try the compile app, we here again have a compile error because we need to pass the clicked person ID to our address page. And we're going to go ahead and set a breakpoint here just to make sure we've wired everything up correctly. And now we'll see when we tap the add button, our breakpoint catches and we can see that the person ID is getting passed correctly. 
So now I want to go into our Realm DB service, and I'm going to update our save address method to actually start saving addresses. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get a reference to the person that we will be adding this address to. And then I'm going to instantiate a new address. And I'm also going to copy and paste um, our try catch block from our previous save function. And we want to do this because we're going to create this new address in a transaction of sorts. And then let's finish up our try catch here, throw in our catch clause, why retype when you can just cut and paste. And now we're also going to update all the properties of our new address. And then lastly, we're going to add this new address to our addresses realm list. Before we run our application, we need to make sure that we have updated our addresses list view in our person page XAML to bind to the addresses collection in our view model. And I also need to go ahead and specify an item template for our list view. And for this particular example, I'm just going to use what's known as a text cell, which it kind of comes pre-baked into Xamarin Forms. And lastly, we want to update our add edit person view model to where it populates the addresses property with the addresses realm list in our person model. And then we're also going to add a refresh method. So um, every time we come back to our screen, we update addresses. And to do that, we'll need to go into person page, override the on appearing method, and then make sure that we get a reference to our add edit person view model and invoke the refresh method on it. And then we also need to add this null pointer checker. Select myself, click add for addresses. And now I can say something like this. Not hell world, hello world, city, St. Louis. Missouri 630. Anyway. And if we hit save and come back, we'll now see our addresses. So as you can see with Realm Xamarin, it is very easy to set up a one-to-many relationship between models.